Hey everyone, welcome to Meeple Bits. Thanks for joining me today. In today's episode of Tabletop Simulator, we're gonna go through the game Wingspan. This version of Wingspan that we're gonna go through is available, uh, it is a user-created mod available in the Steam Workshop. Links available in the description below. This one titled Wingspan Plus Expansions Scripted Update for August 2020 by uh, community creator Fancy Funny. <laughs> As always with the Tabletop Simulator series, we're not gonna go through an in-depth detail of the rules or how to play, so please do refer to any videos or the instructions for those items. We are gonna take a look at what is scripted for you and then what you, the user, is gonna to have to manage, maintain, and control on your own. So with that, let's go ahead and dive right into Wingspan on Tabletop Sim. Hey everyone, thanks for joining me for Wingspan on Tabletop Simulator. So as always, let's go ahead and take a quick look at all the different components around the table so that we know what we're dealing with here today. Once loaded in, you've got your player boards, you've got the general supply, you've got your goal trackers, your food dice, and then your egg components alongside of uh, the first player token and trash for, uh, the different, for the two sides of the boards. Your food area, and then your action markers. So that's everything. So how does this, uh, it, how does this particular version of uh, Wingspan work? Well, the setup is actually pretty well scripted along with the, uh, the transitions between the rounds. So to begin, you want to take a seat at the table, of course, as always, select the number of players that are going to be playing the game. Then um, here you want to kind of toggle on or off the expansion or the green scoring. So by default, it's the blue scoring that's out here, which is kind of a less competitive uh, version of the game, or you've got the green scoring, which is a more competitive style for scoring. So you wanna to toggle on um, green for if you wanna use that or leave it blank to continue to use the default blue or toggle on the expansion. Once ready, you're gonna click start game. Now what's gonna happen is, it's gonna deal out your five starting bird cards plus your two bonus cards and then the five food tokens. Now from here, you're on your own to uh, figure out what bird cards you want to keep and then which one of the two bonuses you also wanna keep in your hand. So as I kinda of look at myself, where, which side of the table am I on? Oh, here I am, oh, I'm over here, got it. Um, so, you know, you kind of want to look at your uh, cards, see which ones you might want to do. Um, I like to keep a, a pretty decent variety. These cards where they can go anywhere are also pretty helpful. So I'm going to discard, um, I'm going to discard this one and I'm going to keep only three, I think for this one. And, uh, I'll discard this one. Now you also want to figure out which of the two bonus cards you want to keep. I'm um, just kind of randomly keep looking at this. Uh, I'll keep uh, that one and then just put it into the discard location on the central play area. Once all players have selected which ones they want to do, make sure you pay their cost by discarding one food token for each card that you've kept into the trash. There we go in this little Kirby mouth. So if you've kept three, pay three food. If you've kept two, uh, pay two food. Now how you get more food is up here on these food tar tokens. You just click them, right? And the player that has clicked on the food, for example, if I click this fish, it'll then just add it to my fish uh, token stack. Okay. But now that we've uh, got our starting hands and we're ready to begin play, everything else during the course of play, you are on your own. So you're gonna have to make sure that you're keeping track of the different actions you're taking, and then of course, uh, what you're doing throughout the game. So on my first turn, um, you know, I, I, think, I think I'm gonna go ahead and play a, I'm gonna play a bird. I think so I'm gonna come up here put my action token down to play um, I guess this bird here pay its cost of one worm and then that's uh, that's kind of my turn 
Then the next player is going to take their turn. They're going to put an action token on their board, deciding then what they want to do and figuring out where their action tokens would go. So once they've taken their turn, then it'll kind of go around the table and then back to the next player until in the first round, you've used all eight uh, action cubes. Once you've uh, completed that, then you're going to move an action cube up top to the, uh, the goal board determined by, oh, sorry, and it did randomly pick out the four goals during the game in the setup phase, should have mentioned that. But to use the goal board, once you've um, taken all of your different actions, then what you're going to do next is go down into round one, and then whoever had the most eggs in their baskets would be first place. So let's just pretend I was first place. I would click this one. Then the next player would put their action marker up at the top. And then once uh, that is completed, you're going to click the new round button. Then it's going to script again, clear the table, refresh the cards, return the action cubes from the board here, and then you're ready to go for your next turn. So let's say I wanted to you know, draw a bird card. I'd put my action here. Well, actually, I would pass the... Uh, the first player marker, which it does not do for you either. Keep that in mind. Uh, but then they would do their action. And let's say I wanted to do this one. I would draw up a card, then move it to the left, do the next uh, bird's actions, then move the token to the left, do its action, and then my turn has been completed. Until then, all of my uh, action cubes have been used up. And then once you get to the final round, once you click the new round button for the fourth time, it'll then simply say in the game chat, game over. The final piece that you're going to need to do on your own in between rounds is going to, uh, is going to of course, be the manual scoring. So if I, let's say, scored one point for this uh, particular bird, then I would need to toggle myself up the one point. So please keep in mind that... All the scoring is a manual process, so it does not kind of read the cards and understand what they do. In addition, here in the, uh, the food uh, dice tray, once all the food have been uh, taken out of the dice tray because uh, the gain food action had been completed, you just click the roll button again. It'll return all the dice to the tray and then roll them automatically for you. Same thing. Once you've gone through all the dice, good to go. So that's going to do it for this particular version of Wingspan. Uh, really well done. Very, uh, very colorful. The uh, cards are, are superbly uh, scanned in as far as uh, keeping the, um, the, the nature, <laughs> the nature pun, pun unintended, of the game intact. So, so really cool there. Um, this one definitely you want to kind of add into your, your tabletop simulator collection. Uh, it's probably the best wingspan version that I've come across. So really, really useful and uh, really, really nicely done. Um, otherwise, if you have any questions about this particular version of wingspan, uh, feel free to leave a comment down in the description below. Happy to help out as best as I can. Um, if you have enjoyed the uh, video or the content, uh, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. I definitely appreciate the support. And until next time, thanks so much for watching.